Hello guys, it's Savage GRX18 here, and and today I'm going to show you how to use and counter dark cards in Random Rumble. So this is my first time doing doing a Random Rumble tutorial. So so yeah, so I'm going to teach you everything about the dark cards. So before. We, before we talk about it, this this happened to be my 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 first and most favorite weapon of all in Random Rumble, and so I decided to do a video about it. So so about this weapon, um, it's it's more of a melee, so and. It has a normal a normal sword range, but it's it's not just any normal sword. For example, let me let me go to over here and get a dummy spawner. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna show you. Yeah. So it's so it's so it's not technically a normal sword. It's a sword that just that just heals you while you attack. So 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 pretend this is an enemy and if you and if you want to attack your opponent, you want you want to just keep slashing and sh like ta attack aggressively and you'll still be okay. Although your health might be a little low if you if you do it if you do it recklessly, so so if you want to do lock, um, I don't think I re recommend you doing that because it may because it will be difficult to to try and slash the enemy when it when you're trying when it's moving like. Like zoning out of your area, yeah. So it's so it's difficult if you have lock on, but if you add lock off, you you will have more more area. You will be able to do more area damage and more space to to KO your opponent. Yeah. So anyways, let, let me show you the special one. Uh, if you look at my right button, there there's a button that calls slash. So if you press it, it it will um when it's when it's hit directly to the opponent, um it's going to to swing the opponent like like that far and and it's actually very deadly but there is one problem it's act it's actually it's actually hittable so if i go get my dummy spawner hostile let me show you the difference oh <laughs> oh my goodness so um, it was attacking my Okay, let's try this again. All right. Yeah, so it is attackable. So, so yeah, I, so you should be really careful when your opponent it f feels like trying to attack you while you use your special. And yeah, let's see. However. However, if you if you do that if you do that special, it'll give you let's see um, tons of three fifteen heals, which makes it like forty five health that you heal. And also, this it also very is very difficult to use it against the opponent because I've seen I've seen. Uh, most people struggle with 
with this kind with this special for like like let's see like like if like every server yeah including me let's but most likely um you you may want to have to just try to try to just trick your opponent and predict where is he going so yeah so so to be honest i rate this kind of melee ah uh, like a uh, a high or a or an s high tier cuz it has it gives you a lot of recovery and and like you can actually just recover while fighting aggressively that's that's actually a really good item that you sh that you should be using yeah so anyways um now we now that we show you how to use the um, use a dark card probably i'm going to show you how to capture the dark card so as we know for the heart dark card as as a normal range like such as such as a sword you know we all know that however um if you are far far away from the opponent the op if your opponent is far away you um it may not it may not be able to to hit him um obviously so all right so pretend you have a projectile and if you use a projectile while that opponent is using a dark heart then then it'll be then you might have a good advantage on beating dark cards so uh, let's see I know some other melees that know how to beat dark cards let's see I know uh, let's see um let's see the crucible might be a good advantage to counter the dark heart and because it has area damage and it can knock him and it can knock back um, before it can try to the opponent can try to hit you with a dark heart so yeah that might be a good advantage so so let's see now we have that um, Hurricane King is kind of a kind of a good thing to counter Dark Heart, and however, uh, the God Card might might if the opponent uses Dark Card with its lock off, then yeah, that might be very risky. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh. You could use you could try to use Dragon Slayer to knock to knock your opponent back away. It's like the Crucible, although it although it's like it's kind it's very different from it. Other than its area 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 slash. So let's see. You try to use fencing foil because because if your opponent try to use a dark heart you can parry it like this and then you'll have more time to react uh, let's see um, let's see I don't know if the human thunder would would be would be good to try to like counter counter dark heart, but but if you if you feel that it's a good option, then try it. You can also use the drop if if you can. Here I'll show you. Um, where's my doubts? There it is. 
Okay. Okay. Right? So like this. Yeah. So you have to be at least tied to at least very higher than your jump. So you to activate this that special. Uh let's see. What do we have? Um Pyramus is ac actually a like let's see, a good a good option to use against Dark Heart. That because because if if you're close enough to your opponent, it will stun them for for once one second or two. And and it's actually a very good melee um to use for for your recovery. And I might I might make a video tutorial about that. So, so if you want to like get away from your opponent, just just so you can save a little bit more health, just try to get out of their range until until they until until they try to step forward and then begin using this. Yeah, like that. All right. Um, uh, let's see, Reflector might be, might be a good thing to, to use against, against Heart Dark Heart, let's see, although, you, you may not move for one second after attacking, but, but if you're near an opponent, you can have, like, a Fox combo. You just need to move forward like that. The stop sign is is most likely a good move to use against our cart. It might it might be have a chance to stun you, but the car is the car is actually most likely to let loose of you. You can also use it as a combo. I'll show you. Alright. Just like that. So, let's see. What else? Um, the Tommy Gun is a very, a very good, a very good recovery melee. Since, since you can, you can use it while while trying to zone out of the out of the an opponent with the dark heart. Uh, let's see. Um, the tricky might might not be a good thing to to use against the dark heart, but well, I mean, actually, it's like a it's actually a good move. Yeah, you can actually use the lock if you want to move from, from like this, like this. Yeah, it's actually very good. Um, let's see. With range, all of these projectiles will, all these projectiles in the list will be able to counter, to counter dark. Dark heart as long as you're far away from the opponent. Uh, let's see. Uh, a little trolling gear will um, that turns you into a troll and re and changes your entire ent entire gear deck will might be a good chance of be beating dark heart. Banana slips always help. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Anything else? So yeah, some of these can actually can actually. Oh, in the red shell can is a very good a good item to use on against the dark arch. 
Reverse cards. Reverse card is a good one. Because, let's, let me show you. Uh, now let me get my dummy spawner. Okay. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be hostile. Okay. Alright. Alright. Now let me show you. Yeah, it parry, it parries, it parries attacks, and it all, and it also re, reflects all projectiles. So, so let's see. Anyways, yeah, I think that's about it. So. So anyways, that is how you counter Dark Hearts and, and how you use Dark Hearts. So anyways, thank you for for watching my tutorial and I hope and I hope you can you know how to use Dark Hearts and counter it. So anyways, until next video. Bye guys.